Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be making the easiest recipe ever of a chocolate dessert, I think. It is gorgeous, it tastes absolutely amazing. It's called a chocolate log. Not to be confused with Yule logs, that's another whole different story. But this one is absolutely amazing, you have to try it at your home. So let me take you over what we're going to need so we can get started. Okay guys, so basically for the, the ingredients you're going to need, milk, sugar, cocoa powder, margarine, and these cookies, the recipe is going to be in the description box. Now let's talk about these cookies. These are Patty Bear cookies that are found in the supermarket. You can also use graham crackers, that, but those were like the large cookies and I have cut them between my hands like this. It's very, very easy. You want to get them to small pieces just like this. Now this is really, really good. Now you want to use a butter cookie, you know, like a sugar cookie or something because it makes the best results. Now let's get started. Okay, now to get started, here on our stove, on high heat, we want to melt in, in this pot, the margarine. You can also use butter in this recipe, but I prefer margarine. You want to melt all of the margarine, completely. Okay guys, after the margarine has been melted, we want to add in our sugar, along with our milk, whole milk and mix them all together till they all dissolve. Okay guys, so that's our mixture. That's what it's supposed to look like. All melted. Now we're just gonna add in the cocoa powder. Okay guys, now all there's left to do after everything is melted is to add in the cocoa powder. Insert all that together. It may look clumpy, but it will dissolve soon. Okay guys, now simply after our chocolate sauce is melted, like this here as you can see it's melted it's still very liquidy it's gonna stir it all together so it is completely melted now we're just gonna add in the cookies and I swear we're done it's crazy how easy this recipe is stir that all together all there's left to do is to make them into logs and we're done Super easy, super simple. You can make it into like three minutes, I'd say, maximum. For your kids, your family, your friends, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, anything. Just set it all up just like this. Okay, guys, after we have stirred thoroughly, I've mixed it for about three minutes for now. It's really good. Now, as you can see, the mixture is still hot, but it's like all gathered up together. Now, all there's left to do is to make them into locks. So what I do is I take some cling film, plastic wrap, I put it on my countertop just like this. Set it on my countertop. Now, I just take a portion in my hands, of course wearing a glove, put it in the center, and make it as a lock just like this. Very easy. You don't have to go any fancier than this. I'm going to take off the glove, cut my cling film. Now what I do is I just wrap it in one side, then the other side. And now it's easier to make it into a log, just like that. And I take the two sides left here, and I just roll it, just like that. And I tie the ends. Of each. Oh, there is. Just like that. As you can see, that's how it looks like. Now, this has to cool on room temperature for about 30 minutes. Then you can put it in the refrigerator. And when it hardens up, we're just gonna cut it and eat it. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So I'm just gonna continue by making these logs. Okay, guys, after we have finished putting them on the countertop for about 30 minutes on room temperature now we're just going to transfer them onto our sheet pan here and we're going to refrigerate this for at least I'd say one hour would be fine you can also of course more 
And this could last for three days in the refrigerator. Absolutely delicious. And now I'm just going to pop them into the refrigerator, cut them for you, and we'll see how it tastes. Okay guys, after our lox has been cooled in the refrigerator for about one hour, I'm just going to take them out of the wrap and cut it up. Now, I like to cut it up thinly. I'm just not going to use this first part, but I'm going to cut it thinly, just like that. Now, when you're making this, you don't want to cut it all at once. You cut it as needed because we don't, don't want it, this to dry out. It just looks so delicious. I'm just going to try it. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below what you think of this video. If you have any ideas for future videos, just leave a comment, like my videos, and most importantly, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Bye.